what's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we catch predators nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 catches early, completely uncensored. You get to see live predator confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions of 24. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals. Yes, sir. Uh, Terry? How's it going, man? I'm Gordon. Nice to meet you. Um, my hands are a little dirty right now. Okay, got it. Um, it's something that I think... Uh, you have a girlfriend in there or whatever? Okay, probably something we should talk about away from her. Um, some messages on Instagram to uh, Lily we should probably go over, all right? If you don't mind. It is voluntary, but I think we probably should, and I don't want to do it in front of your wife or anything like that. Sorry to meet you like this, man. Okay, so you... I think, obviously, you know what I'm talking to you about, huh? Yeah. Okay. Just toss this over here. So all of these right here um, with Lily, I guess before we really get into it, I mean, how'd this stuff kind of start for you, man? Because... I think it was... She sent me a, a friend request on Instagram. Sure. And I don't really know like everything about it. Like I'm not even really trying to like even hang out with her or nothing like that. Why's that? Because I'm not trying to do anything stupid like that. I'm actually trying to, because me and my wife are trying to work out our marriage and stuff. Oh. Got a bad batch, and I'm not trying to screw shit up. Trying to get it back on the right track. Yeah. Did you break your collarbone ever? I had a uh, have a separated shoulder. Holy cow! Makes you look like you got big traps because you do a lot of shoulder shrugs. Um, and you do landscaping, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I appreciate what you do, man. It takes a Glad you're out there actually working hard, not just being a dope, dopey all day, you know what I mean? So I appreciate that, and I'm sure your wife does too. Um, do you want to tell her, like, what's going on? Because she might be calling somebody right now, and I'm just here to I talk to you. I don't really you know, put this on her like that, because mm -hmm. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying, we're trying to work our marriage. Now. Sure. Well, do you maybe want to tell her, like, hey, I, I just I just feel like I need to talk to him for a little bit. Um, it, it's all good, or something like that? She's, like, at the door, like, watching right now. I could probably tell her it was like some fucking scam shit or some shit like that. Well, I mean, you should probably like tell her now because if she calls anybody, then you know, <clears throat> not much I could do about that. You know what I'm saying? She's like at the door, just watching. So. Well, she's always she's always gonna watch. Okay, that's, that's that's what your significant other does. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Has your marriage at least been improving and stuff? It's um, it's 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 starting to get better and stuff. You know, I had a lot of dumb shit I did. I went and moved out of state, did a bunch of dumb shit, got back with one of my exes. Hey, shit happens. Are you, uh, is that like a sat Satanist thing or? No, a pagan. Pagan? Okay. I'm kind of curious, like what, what's the difference between a pagan and a Satanist? I'm not judging, uh, just curious. Satanists, they, they like worship like the devil and stuff. Pagans, we don't worship the devil or nothing like that. 
it's more like I believe in more than one God and okay. goddesses as well. So. Right, right. So, I mean, with Lily, I mean, I'll just tell you she was. Um, I don't really remember. Okay. Did she tell you some age I was probably too young to go hang out with? Probably, I, like I said, I don't really remember. Okay. What do you think she told you? Maybe like 13 or some shit like that. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to do not hanging out with her or nothing like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate your honesty. She did tell you she was 13, so I appreciate you being honest about that, man. And it takes, takes a real good guy to do that. Did the conversation kind of escalate in a way, maybe? Okay. In what type of ways? Uh, I've sent her a few pictures. Okay. I'm not really thrilled about that. Well, you seemed excited in this one. Uh, maybe not thrilled, but um, this was a. Uh, you sent her a few dick pics? Yeah. Okay. That's fire, man. I mean, do, do, do you landscape? Is it like a, a, a all, all year round thing? Okay, cool. Like, do you have your own little business? No. Oh, you just work for somebody? Yeah. That's fine. I mean, shit. I really do appreciate you working hard because I know Florida it gets really hot. So, do you like just mow yards or plant or just everything? Yeah, mowing yards and stuff like that. Okay. Appears in uh, some of these pictures, you're also like a too. Um, is that just a mowing thing or? Oh, never mind. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Okay, did, did the conversation also kind of were, were some stuff said to Lily, like stuff y'all talked about doing together? At one point, I did say some stuff, like I might have said something like that, but like I said, I'm not trying to meet up with her or anything like that. Right. And this was just a kind of a uh, online carried away type thing. Yeah. Okay, that happens. So, so there was some, there was some conversations said, I think, between the two of you guys. Yeah. Okay. Did y'all talk about having, like, together? I might have said something about it. Like I said, it, I, I'm not really trying to, like, communicate with her on that type of level. Right. Right. Like I said, I'm trying to work on my marriage and shit. Yeah. And, you know, if I, if I didn't, I mean, I, I didn't know, the, obviously, the status of your marriage, but I, I did, I did know you were married, and you seem like a good enough guy who actually works and takes care of himself. You know, if I thought that this would be an end-all, be-all, I would have just came at your door and immediately said what was going on. But since I actually believe that this can be turned around, and you're, some people it can't be turned around, I'm sure, as you know online, but I think someone like you can be, and... That's why, you know, that's why I think does this talk probably should happen? Yeah, it should. It should, I think. But, you know, they, I, I, th I think it could be fixed this way. You know what I mean? So, so I'm, I'm on, we're on the same team here, man. I know. And if there's anybody going to be talking to you about stuff like this, you want it to be me. You know, like there's nobody else that'll be as less judgmental about this than me. Unless it's the creepy old man down the street. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he'd be, but. Okay. So, I mean, it, it, would it make sense that you said something saying we spend a lot of time together talking, kissing each other, and we would have sex? I might have said something like that, but okay. like I said, I'm not trying to do none of that shit. Okay. So this was all just stuff you said, but not wanting yeah. to do. Okay. Did she ever send you any pictures? She did one time, she sent me like a side view of like her wearing a pair of panties. Okay. Okay. So it was just you sending lots of yeah. pics? Okay. Did, did she, was she ever asked for this? I think I asked her a couple times when I was drinking and shit. Okay. Got it. So, so I think this whole thing is a uh, symptom of something that kind of didn't start with this, because um, looking at 
some of your following and, and again it's 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 internet bullshit i'm not even i don't even have that instagram anymore i've gotten rid of that one why'd they ban you um they didn't ban me my wife found out that i was talking on instagram so i deleted the account and stuff like that okay like i said i'm trying to you know work on, work on that stuff okay but you got another one pretty recently i did but i've like i've barely been on that one sure and yes uh lily did uh she did ask me to hang out recently but i'm not going to because I, I work too much to be even trying to even do that and right like i said i'm trying to work on my marriage I'm of not, course i'm not trying to do no dumb shit. do you have any kids together no we're, we're, we're working on that okay cool so how this whole type of thing like with younger ladies kind of start for you because obviously you were following who you were following before when lily i was younger i was by my cousin sorry about that that so you weren't born this way you were made you were made in a certain type of way i'm sorry about that and that's that's not fair to any that's not fair that, that happened to you no. i went to counseling for it and shit like that uh -huh. I have no idea who that guy is. <laughs> um, so, so you've been in counseling for this type of stuff? Yeah. Okay. Is your wife aware of this this she, specific she stuff? She knows that I was by my cousin and stuff like that. Okay. Is, is, by counseling, do you mean that you went for to counseling like trauma counseling? Or as in, I have this kind of feeling towards people I shouldn't be having I, feeling towards? I went. I was going for counseling, but like when I when I left Florida, I stopped going to the counseling. So I'm trying to get back on to that, on getting that, but I got to get my insurance up first yeah. before I can do that. Of course, of course. Yeah, but was this like trauma counseling? Like this happened to me, and I, I feel traumatized by it, or is it like counseling? Like we I have. Were, a we were talking. We were. My counselor was talking. We were talking about that and a lot of other stuff. Okay, makes sense. What state did you move to? Just curious. Ohio. Oh, no wonder you came back here. Ohio's a dump. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so has this kind of... Has, uh, and it, it's, it's so not fair because they just create a cycle out of this. You, would, you wouldn't even be here right now if it wasn't for your cousin doing some evil, evil shit, man. Exactly. Um, so when did you start to notice that you're kind of older, the people you like are kind of younger? When do you think it was? I mean, not saying you need a hundred percent accurate answer, just your best guess. Honestly, I don't even know. Has it been has it just been like always a thing kind of? No. It's not always been a thing. Okay. Has it been maybe since after high school? Okay. Wouldn't say that, so. Because there's obviously the past couple years. Um, I guess a better question, what kind of, what kind of pushed you on Instagram to kind of be searching this stuff? Was this like a few years ago? Uh, I'd have to say it was just in like the last year. Last year. Okay. okay. So there was Facebook, Instagram. Uh, did you have like Signal or WhatsApp or anything? WhatsApp, but that was only like communicate with uh, family and friends when I went on a trip with my wife. Sure. How's it going, ma'am? Hi. 
you better start talking. Why is he here? Or better yet, I'll ask why you're here. Well, um, I know y'all are trying to work on y'all's marriage together. I'm Gordon, I'm sorry to meet you like this. Mm -hmm. um, there's some stuff online that kind of, I guess you caught him before you kind of texted on Instagram. Is that what happened? I caught the Instagram, yeah, and I was wondering what was going on because he never had an Instagram before. Right, well, there is just basically some people he shouldn't be talking to that might have been on the younger side and you know, and again, it's not something I don't think he can fix. You know, that's why we're just talking to him. But, you know, it's definitely a big enough thing for me to be here talking to him about it. And um, I know it's obviously you have nothing to do with it. And yeah, no. I, I just wanted to keep it between, unless it was his idea to tell you, I just wanted to kind of keep it between us. But, um, you know, because it is his deal. You're not doing it with him, of no, course. Well, so. Apparently he was keeping a, a giant secret about something and he wasn't being totally honest. It, it happens, it happens, but he has been getting better with it, and you know, that's why I'm just talking to him about it. What's your name? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Gordon. Yeah, and that's, that's what I'm just talking to him about, because obviously, you know, we want everybody on the right path here with stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I mean, you have every right to be pissed, that's for sure. And, but you know, obviously that's why like I'm doing it here instead of like at his work or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, because I don't want... Mm -hmm. What agency are you affiliated with? No, not even an agency. I'm private, like just concerned citizen. So no affiliations with anybody, just just doing this on your own? Absolutely, yeah. We have a group called Kid Protectors USA. It's private, but we do make sure that adults don't talk to kids and kids don't talk to adults, and we just want to make sure it stays on the right path. And, you know, there's some people that we definitely don't even want to talk to that are just so, so out of bounds with some stuff. And I don't want really to get that vibe from Terry at all, you know? And that's why I'm just talking to him about it. I mean, he, I mean, you know, he's definitely not happy about, um, Oh no, I could tell you right now that his family is full of photos, so oh, I'm yeah. not surprised that there's unresolved traumas there that he's having oh, to deal with. Oh, a hundred percent. And he told me that something happened to him when he was younger as well. Mm -hmm. And y you know, it, there's a difference between being born and wanting to be like this versus being made like this. And, 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 I th and I think Terry's definitely, unfortunately, something happened to him to trigger this rather than him just wanting to be some type of way. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, he's a victim of circumstance, unfortunately. hundred percent, hundred percent. And that's why I think, you, you know, that's why I think you're willing to work with him on his marriage because mm -hmm. there is some shit out of his control that he definitely... Uh... Oh, yeah, he's, he's already on my insurance. So once that gets kicked over, because you know how insurance is annual. Of course, insurance. of course. Once it gets kicked over, he's going into some actual, like like serious rehabilitative therapy. Oh, yeah, like I'm with it. Weekly more than anything. Oh, well, let me put it this way. I don't think he needs trouble. I just think he needs some help. Yeah, no, that's that's what it's gonna be for. Sorry, it's really bright. Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, you can definitely, uh, I mean, you know, it's your your domain. You can definitely stand here or go inside wherever you wanna be. Um, if you don't mind, if I just wanna figure out some things here. I'm not trying to take this inside. Okay, we can just, uh, Talking, I'm sure Terry can maybe tell you what we went over after or whatever, doesn't. Oh yeah, we're gonna be having a long conversation at this point. Very long conversation. Yeah, just please don't be too judgmental because he is a victim of circumstance. Oh, I know. But you know, if you, you should still figure it'll be kick his ass, but just don't be too harsh, you know what I mean? Because, because you know, shit, shit happens, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? no, no, I'm, I'm well aware. Right, well, I, I appreciate it. You take care. She loves you. She definitely loves you. All right. The first time I think you and Lily messaged each other was uh, a year ago, give or take. And uh, can, can you hold on a second? I got to get a cigarette. Huh? Can I get it? We'll get oh, a cigarette. Oh yeah, you're gonna come back out here. Okay. And did you and Lily ever uh, talk on Snapchat or Telegram at all? No. I okay. Don't have none of that stuff. Okay. 
Did you ever have a Snapchat? Maybe years and years and years back. Okay. And what about Telegram? Never had a Telegram. Okay. So I think the first message with Lily was sent probably about a year ago, give or take. And I think she's been off and on since then. But, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the pages in your following list are just basically younger teens, stuff like that, you know, just names like that. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Right. How'd those pages get introduced to you? I honestly don't remember. Like what kind of, what, what, what do you think kind of pulled you into that type of community on Instagram? Did, did you catch kind of search for it out of curiosity or did somebody just introduce it to you? Like how'd that go? I think it was somebody who might have introduced me to it. Okay. And how how many how many of these younger younger ladies under eighteen do you think have tried to talk to you on Instagram before or these other apps? Because look, I, I obviously I'm not going to say you should be texting them, but. I know a lot of them when they get to a certain age, they just want to talk to everybody and anybody. So don't don't think that I, don't think it's all you when she was doing a lot of the texting too. You know. The only person that I talked to under age was Lily. Okay. How many others have tried to talk to you that have been younger like that? I don't even think I didn't talk to anybody under the age. Okay. So those young teens accounts, those other accounts, did you at least just try to say hi to them or something like that? Maybe they didn't I respond. Might have said hi, just like one or two of them. Okay. What did they say back? Uh, one never, even, the one never even responded. So. The other one, I don't even, I don't even think it even responded either. Okay. Do you remember how old they were supposed to be? No. Okay. Were they probably around Lily's age? Probably. Okay. And there's, of course, adults you talk to as well. Yeah. Okay. For sure. What other apps did kind of this, the younger stuff be shown to you besides Instagram? I mean, obviously Instagram was a big one for you, but what, what other apps were kind of about that stuff? Uh, only Instagram. Only Instagram. Okay. So y'all talked about meeting. Um, yes, where in Orlando she'd be. I ask here, have you ever met? And she said, I tried, but didn't really feel anything. She said, maybe try again. Want to exchange phone numbers. Do you have WhatsApp? Why, why was she asked to talk on WhatsApp? Just curious, rather than Instagram. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was probably easier for her. I don't, I'm not sure. She did say something about her mom didn't know she had an Instagram. Okay. Got it. So here, have you ever wondered what it would feel like inside your body? And you said, honestly, I'd prefer you not to say anything to them as in your parents. And you said, the other night, the, I had a dream about us. We were hanging out and ended up having sex. But anyways, at the end, I was going to take you back over towards your place. You said you didn't want to go home. You wanted to stay with me. I guess, what, what, was, what was it about Lily that kind of made you want to say these things to her? Like, was it like looks or what was it? Was she just cute to you or something? I 
Kind of. Okay. I guess, what, what was the end goal here? Like, what, what were you kind of hoping would happen with Lily? Okay. Was there ever a time where you wanted to just hang out with her, not to do anything bad, but just to chill with her or something like that? Honestly, I wasn't ever gonna go and hang out with her. Okay. What about just to drive around or just meet up or say hi? Like I said, I wasn't ever gonna go hang out with her or nothing like that. Okay. I already know, you know, people see shit like that. People, they, they're gonna call the cops and shit like that. Right, right. And I'm not trying. I'm not trying to go back into prison. I was in prison when I was younger. Uh, nothing like that. It was arson and burglary. But yeah, I'm trying to change. Like I'm, I'm trying to turn my life around. I'm not trying to go back. Yeah, I respect that. You said here, I want to see one of your tights in your tits. And you said, I can make you promise this. Whatever you send me or say no, no one will ever know that is a promise that I can make and keep. So if she was to send you that, you would not have shared that with anybody or anything? Okay. You say, so does anybody know? You're talking to me, and has anybody seen the pics I sent you? And you say, is it, and is it cool? I just don't want it to hurt. She says, no. You say, and what I mean by that is my going into your have you wanted to tell any of your friends or show them? She did say something about one of her friends. But I never knew anything else after that. Yeah. How old did she say that friend was? I don't even remember. Was she younger or older? I think she was probably around the same age. Okay. Maybe. Well, she said her friend was 10. And I think you still asked Lily to show your to her. What's kind of going on with that? I don't know. I guess it was just something to do. Okay. And I know this is all this is hard to talk about, man, and I appreciate you being a good guy and being out here talking about this because there are people who take pride in this type of crap, and I know you don't, and that's, that's what I appreciate about you, Terry, for real. Here you say, I want to kiss you, and I want to kiss your body all over, licking your nose, kissing my way down to your beautiful body, and I'll eat you until you beg me to put my in your body. They double text and say, what do you think about that? Did you ever send uh, Lily a video of you kind of in your I might have. Okay. I don't really remember. Okay. Do you just remember sending a lot of pics? Yeah. Okay. Took that the other day thinking about you, blah, blah, blah. Say, I wish you could write on it till I come in you. I know that you're and I would love to see what you taste like. What is, and again, I'm not judging you here, man. I'm not here to judge you, okay? But what is saying that stuff to Lily? What, what did that kind of do for you, like mentally? Like, or what, what is it, what kind of rush does that give you? Because there's obviously some type of excitement there. And, you know. I think a lot of it was just out of boredom and shit. Out of boredom? Yeah. Okay. Because you mentioned earlier that you're, cousin unfortunately did some things to you when you were younger that's kind of what flipped on to it was more than once that that should happen right so even with all that stuff happening to you, you still don't take it too far with lily you just chatted and did some internet bullshit yeah. but i do think it's a little bit more than boredom because boredom you can send that to literally anybody on earth or send that to your wife and again this doesn't make you a bad person that you did this it just you know shit happens what do you what do you think it really is? Because I'm really not here to judge you, man. But it's it's something besides boredom. It it really is. We both know that. Probably the curiosity of it. 
of something underage. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, like, what makes you curious about that? Honestly, I'm not even sure what makes it, like, I'm not even sure. Like, well, I wanted to try playing football when I was younger because I wanted to uh, throw and catch. But obviously, that didn't happen on the field with me. I was a blocker. But, you know, I wanted to feel like what it would be to, you know, throw and catch and put somebody on their butt. And that's why I tried it. So there has to be something that made you curious in order to try something. Because, you know, you don't, you don't go uh, ride a roller coaster for the first time and like, I have no idea why I'm on this thing. <laughs> I, mean, I was just curious. Like, I, there, there's something I can explain. When I first rode a roller coaster when I was 10, it was cool. It looked cool to go down the slope like that, to go loop-de-loop. -loop. Like, I, you know, there's something. And, and again, you know, I'm not expecting a detailed answer because you can't, it, it's hard to talk about. And just expecting you to just be fully transparent is just on my part. But, you know, there, there, there's something. And again, no matter what it is, I'm not gonna be mad or judge, dude. I'm really not. But I think this is good to get it off your chest because man, I know you don't like this. You don't like being this way. So what do you think you're curious about? Well, do you think it's their looks or their personality or how young they are? Like, what do you think? Probably around the same age as when this shit happened to me, so. So did you want to feel how it is to be on the other side of that? Honestly, I don't know, because like I said, I was never going to go and meet up with her or nothing like that. Like, there was one time where she told me to come meet her at the mall, and I never did, because I didn't want to. I told her I was working, and shit like that. Okay. Well, is it maybe you want a glimpse of what it is to be on the other side without going too far? I know it's, a, it's an honest question. I know it sounds harsh, but it's just asking. Probably. Probably. Okay. So, so after what happened to you, why why would you ever want to be in that other on the other side of that, knowing what it did to you? I uh, don't have an answer for that. Okay. Pick up my cousin. You said it in May. I had to drive to Miami Airport, pick up my cousin, then drive her all the way to Orlando. Is she doing okay? Just wondering. You said she was like or something? Yeah. She doing all right or better now? Yeah. Okay. You drove all the way to Miami for her? No. No? I just said that. Okay. But was she actually Yeah. Okay. Was she uh, staying at your house for a bit too? She actually is in my house. Oh, your cousin? Yeah, that's why I, I didn't want to take that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, man, so you're actually hosting her because you care about her. Yeah. Okay. You look, yeah, you're really not a bad guy. Her mother is the one who did this shit to me. Her mother? Yeah. Oh, my God. So I'm sure she did this, the same to her then, too. No. No? Only on guys she liked, or? Her mother... Her mother's always had a thing for younger people, apparently, because uh, her brother's dad was 16 when she had sex with him. She ended up with a girl who was 16, shit like that. God damn, she really f***ed a lot of the family up. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you usually, uh... Do you watch porn often at all? I used to. When did you kind of stop? Recently. Recently? I've done like the last couple months maybe. Nice. 
Some of these accounts on your Instagram, like for example, this, this is the naughty stepdad here, and I love showing off my stepdaughter to other men. This this girl looks like she's probably about uh, well, I don't know how. I mean, how old did she, does she look to you here? Teenager. Teenager, like around Lily's age. Probably around her age. Okay. I'm not sure. So there, there was a there was a lot of accounts on Instagram you would follow like that, and I think that was actually the majority of the people in your following list. Right, right. But there, there was enough of those accounts for me to bring it up to you, you know. Like, who doesn't have one or two like that they're following? But, you know, there's enough, there's enough for me to say it's a significant portion. Did, did, those, did those accounts uh, ever really interact with you too much? Or no. did they ever try to say hi to you? Not that I am aware of. Okay. So I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out um, what what immediately what immediately would kind of prompt all these messages to Lily because I, I know it's not you just wanting to send pics to a 13 year old I, don't, I know you don't wake up and just think that one day I I really how's it going you better to us huh? realize you got a whole stack of screenshots in your hand I do. I bet they're obviously dummy accounts too, and you didn't even notice that. I mean, the jig is up. I already know what's going on. But now you're going to have to explain it before somebody decides to call the cops on your ass and have you arrested for some dumb shit. Because you realize you, you could go to prison for this right now, right? And then everything you've worked so hard for, you can just kiss it goodbye. Yeah, he's, 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 he's working on it. He's working on it. He obviously isn't happy about being, or kind of doing this stuff, you know? Well, it doesn't make it easier because my mother's also in that house right there and she's nosy as In this house? Right there. Oh, well. She could just come right out on her patio and sit there and listen to the whole conversation. I mean, she could, but I mean, it is what it is. I guess you need to realize this is something worth going to prison for and then being labeled as a offender for the rest of your life? Or, or are you gonna just delete all social media at this point? And then you don't have access to a phone unless I give you access to your phone at this point. The only other fucking social media I got is Facebook. No, you have Twitter too. Well, you had Twitter, I should say. Let me write, you had Twitter. I said, the only one I got is Facebook. Well, guess what? I guess you're deleting it now. And guess who gets your joints account in? Because clearly this is an issue that needs to be closely monitored. Until you've gotten past it. Otherwise, the next car showing up here is probably going to be a squad car to take you out to jail. You're lucky it's not a squad car right now. Because who's not to say that they can't just go, call, go ahead and call the cops on you? I'm not saying you guys would do that right now, but... Conceivably speaking, what's not to stop them from doing it? They have enough evidence there to lock your ass up for this shit. Yeah, he, he seems, uh, I definitely think he, 
he realizes, and I, I think, I think it definitely can be turned around, even though it's going to take a lot. And it's going to have to take a willingness on your part to actually sit there and open up and open your fucking mouth and talk to somebody. For sure, for sure. And I think it's a lot of the trauma coming back, and I think that's what's doing it. Cause, I mean, th this is this is this is this is beyond me because I've been I was through a lot of trauma in my life, but you can see the complete opposite direction. Of, of course, of, you're passionate about not stopping this stuff. Like, I was by an uncle, I was by a babysitter, I was by a female babysitter, and I was molested by one of my mom's close friends. Gosh. All under the age of seven. And now find out that you are talking to a bunch of people, even though I've told you before with social media, not everybody you meet on there is one, real, and two, after your best intentions. On top of the one person I talk to. On top of the fact most of these people, it's obvious from the get-go that they're a bogus account. Just they're trying to get you to do something, sell them something, give them something. I have an associate's degree in criminal justice for God's sakes. I see this shit all the fucking time. So you're gonna have to figure it out. Before someone else decides to either call the cops on you or someone's dad decides to show up here. Because yeah. You always talk about if you were going to be a dad and somebody was talking to your kid, you'd whoop their ass for it. Well, I don't know how old these kids are or supposed kids are. How do you think their dads would react to that situation to a grown ass man talking to their kid? Same way of what I said. Okay. So then that seems to be your question. Why would you talk to them knowing what your response would be? Knowing that you could easily be killed by one of these crazy ass people out here who will do anything and be willing to go to prison for their child. Even at first, at the first you didn't know they were that age. But it makes it worse if they told you they were that age and you still could have a conversation. That didn't, that did in fact happen. All right, well, um, mind if I uh, ask him about some other things? He could be here for sure, but uh, I just don't want him to feel like pressured or scared to, to say anything, you know what I mean? Well, at this point, he has no choice. Okay. Well, so, you either say it now or that's it. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, well, because Terry, there's a, you, you know, despite what happened to you, I, I don't think you just wanted to do this or send all these pics to Lily or whatever. I, I just, I just think there has to be some, because you mentioned Twitter, um, you mentioned even a few days ago that you were asking Lily to get on Twitter with you. And I know Twitter's pretty free flowing with some, with some nasty shit on there. I, I, I kind of want to figure out because, you know, your your wife's obviously rightfully mad at you, but there's a lot worse. Yeah, you know, I'm sure as you know, there's a lot worse than he. Oh yeah. There's a lot worse that yeah. don't even deserve a talk. Uh, do, do you think that? Well, I, I shouldn't say do you think because it's pretty obvious, kind of saying this stuff. What, what have you seen online to kind of? To kind of that that's kind of twisted your mind to kind of make you say this type of stuff. Because I refuse to think that somebody can be weird enough to just go on Instagram one day and just decide to just send pics galore to Lily. I think people have tried to show you some stuff online or have sent you some stuff. And it doesn't make you bad for 
because uh, you know it wouldn't be mere content but I, I think people have tried to show you some sh some shit because you know how you can twist the mind right give unreal expectations and mm -hmm. here you here you are um kind of in this spot yeah uh, what, what what if what if any have you seen online? That's kind of that could that could have maybe twisted your mind into this because obviously on Instagram we see a lot of the girls in positions, just kind of you know this type of stuff. You know what I'm talking about with this this type of stuff. Like you, you feel me, Terry? But I don't think that prompts you to send pics. I think there's some pretty extreme stuff that people have tried to show you, um, that people have tried to show you or sent you, whether you want to see it or not, you know, and it, just, just like what happened to you as a kid, how it kind of, how it makes you a certain way you didn't want to be. I, I think you can do the same thing. Cause I, I refuse to believe your mind is just like this. I, I don't, I don't think that's the case. Cause that would be insane. Um, and I, I don't think that's the case. I, I think it has to be something you've seen. Because if this was the case, I mean, I don't know. I, I'd be, I'd be pretty shocked that a mind can go this far without any help. So I mean, what, what have you seen online, or what have people shown you to kind of trigger something like this? Okay. How long have you had Twitter for? Okay, but she she caught you with Twitter a while ago, didn't she? She caught me with Instagram. Instagram? Okay. What what are some of the stuff you see on Twitter? Bunch of shit. Shit. Yeah. Are these just people you follow, or is this stuff getting sent to you, or is it both? People I follow. People you follow, okay. What percentage of this shit is like adults? All of it. All of it? Okay, are these like videos, or just pics, pictures? Okay. At least I can confirm that on his aspect, because the last time I'd seen his Twitter, it was just a bunch of big titted, Small ass, tiny waists, adult females. How long ago did you catch him on Twitter? I honestly couldn't even tell you at this point. Was it was it longer than a couple weeks ago? I honestly couldn't tell you at this point because okay. I've got so much going on at my job right yeah, now. Yeah, what, so. what do you do for work? Just curious. Oh, awesome. So, like, juvie kids, pretty much? Basically, yeah. Nice, nice. why this is also concerning for me because this could affect my job. Right, right. Yeah, Terry, there's just, you know, you said it happened to you as a kid and then you think that's what made you like this. And then here you are at 37, you are? 34. 34. You're at 34 um, sending sending like all these pics to Lily and stuff like that. I mean, are you sure? I mean, has there ever been like maybe a search online for this type of stuff, just out of curiosity? Like maybe, maybe pictures of kind of revealing of like younger ladies and stuff like that. I mean, I, I think that has to be the case. I mean, what do you think? his life that I don't even think he knows but his his dad's side of the family is crazy is absolutely crazy and has an affinity for looking up things and thinking it's okay and unfortunately they were not exactly the best role models for that that's exactly they made it seemed like it was okay but he's never actually like searched for anything well let's let let's let him answer that because I think I, I I think the apple doesn't fall far from the tree when it comes to. Um, I haven't searched up anything on a computer. Okay. What about on the phone or anything? The only thing I've 
thing I've ever done was look at sites. Sites? Okay. Do you look up stuff like teens and stuff like that? I've, I've looked up like 18 year olds and stuff like that. Okay. How many times have you just went searching for pictures that have been a little bit under 18, like maybe 16, 17? Never. Never. Okay, so there's multiple instances here where you ask her to send a nude of herself, this and that. So, so that's one instance um, that happened multiple times. So what I'm trying to figure out is, I don't think at 34 years old, this is your first time trying to ask for a nude of somebody who's a little bit younger. And again, you're not meeting up anybody, you know, you're, man, I, I, I have to keep reiterating, but shit happened to you, bro should happen to you and like i said i don't think you need trouble i do think there's some help needed for this but what's there to help if there's nothing to help which there obviously is something man i can see it in your eyes there's some dark dark stuff that they put into your mind you know and that that's that's what i'm trying to think I, I i refuse to i mean there's just no earthly possibility that lily is the first time you were asking for a picture of something underage i mean just no, no way i mean it's just impossible like there's just no possible way she is the first one i've ever asked okay and that's the truth is she the she, is it that. okay what about asking other adults for those types of pictures I've never asked another adult for that type of stuff terry on twitter was there anything of like younger profiles that were trying to follow you or anything like that Not that you're aware of. So all this, all this stepdaughter, this young stepdaughter stuff on Instagram and all these young profiles. This was, I mean, an account called Teen Top Models, Teens Beach Girls, Young Sky Diamonds, Teen Beauty Bella, Teen Girl Reels. Another one called I showed you this, the Naughty Stepdaughter. I mean, what, what, what do you think it is, man? That kind of put those in your following list. Just clicking on shit. Clicking on shit. What, what age range do you think that curiosity is? Obviously, we have 13 and we have 10 with her friend. I mean, does the curiosity go down to even like five and six? Where, where do you think that curiosity stops for you? Thirteen. Huh? Yeah. Okay. And that's the age that happened to you at? A little bit. I was a little bit younger than that, but it didn't stop until around that age. And the, my cousin who did that shit to me, she was around that age when that shit happened. How many years did it happen for? If you had to guess. So it started when you were eight? It started around when my mom and dad got a divorce. Okay. How old were you then? Around like eight, nine. Well, okay. So I guess that also explains why you asked uh, Lily to show your to the 10 year old too. I'm, re I'm, re I'm really sorry that should happen, bro. It's fed up. Terry, if this was about tearing you a new asshole, I would have just said, oh, okay, you said the fix, she says you're 13, okay, bye. It would have just been that simple. This is about you turning this around and just being, being, being not only my eyes, her eyes on the inside of this crap because looking at the, some of the pages that were you were following, I mean, geez Louise, that is some, that is some shit. Even though you're not like that or you don't want to be like that, you were, 
you're still following it, there are some of the Who's that? Oh. Some of them are some of them are following you, whatever. You know, I don't know exactly who's following you back, but I know you're following a lot of them. Terry, Terry, there there has to be some shit that somebody showed you of this type of stuff to continue this to continue this that brought the trauma out so you can you know try to maybe talk to other people about this stuff like Lily. Because if this happened for me when you were eight to thirteen and you're lightly reenacting this on a 13 year old and you were going to lightly, lightly, re and by reenact, I mean, you know, just be with them, whether online or in person, online in this case, with a 10 year old. I mean, man, dude, I could see it in your eyes. Somebody, somebody showed you some shit. And as long as you're not the one taking photos like that of, of uh, younger people, you know, it's not my concern. It would be a problem if you did, did take photos like that. But man, I think people have shown you because we, We've run into a few people who are kind of like kind of like you, as in they were abused when they were younger, but they weren't, but they're not like bad, bad when it comes to this stuff. Because there's a lot worse, you know. Like there's people into just total demonic shit that are just very evil, and you're not evil. You're just very misguided, and sadly, your one life that you got, it wasn't you weren't dealt a fair hand. Um, but it's kind of similar. They 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 hid trauma, then they see some crap online that, that makes them relive it, and then they. Go message other people or and or go meet them or whatever the hell. And those few people that we've talked to that happened to, I, I think you are the I, I think what happened to you is the same thing. So this if you've been curious about this for a long time and you know why this you are kind of curious about this stuff, Lily Lily can't be the first that maybe the first kid you talked to, but not the first time you were just curious about looking at types of pics. I mean, obviously you're curious about looking at those types of pics because you ask Lily for some and you follow all those pages on Instagram that show like, you know, scantily clad bikinis. I'm, I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to help you flip this around on people sucking you into this. You know, there's, there's no need, there's no need to pretend like people don't exist that get good people like you sucked into bad things. You don't need to, you don't need to pretend those people don't exist because I know they do. You don't need to cover for them either, okay? Whether they, whether it's been websites that have been shown to you one way or the other, whether it's been pictures people were sending you, what what do you think it is, man? I know it's not nothing. That's that, that's a load of manure, you know. At this point, me and your wife both aren't mad at. Well, you can be mad, but we're, at this point. At this point, we're more concerned about turning this around than, you know, anything else, I'd say, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you're not here to judge them for anything, are you? No. Okay. Took you a while to say that, but you said it. It's it's more that if this doesn't turn around and change, I'm, I'm going to file for divorce because I'm not dealing with it. Fair enough, fair enough. Because I don't deserve to have this constantly brought to the doorstep either. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Do you, do you maybe just want to tell me, Terry, what it, what it was, rather than maybe tell her later? Is it If it's too much pressure with both of us here, you can 100% just, well, you know, you can, you can I'm sure she would oblige too. Well, anything I say, she's going to know about it anyways. All right, so what, what, what did they show you online, or what have you seen? There was a couple of things that I did follow on Instagram that, like, had videos play that was looped videos. Mm -hmm. And there was one where a girl come walking out, but I didn't stood there, and the one girl was with a banana. Elf? No, the, the older woman was with a banana. Okay, sure. And you saw this on what app? Instagram. They allow that shit? That's crazy to me. They're not supposed to, but it still gets past their little barricade. Yeah, it's like when Trump says, yeah, we're going to put up a border wall, and then everybody comes in. It's so different than on Facebook. They, the, the accounts get through constantly. Oh, I know Facebook. Yeah, what have you seen on Facebook? Thanks for reminding me about that. Facebook's, I know, is worse than Instagram with that stuff. I only, I only have family on there, and she can verify that. Yeah. That's all I got there on there. There is only family on there. Okay, okay. Got it. Even in the friend request section, like, there, it's nobody. There's zero people in friend requests. Sure, sure, that's fair. So on on Instagram, I mean, I, I, these people, 
I set. couldn't even tell you the name. It was some. It was like an Asian picture. Oh, that's not surprising. No, not at all. Those yeah. You have to watch out. Good guy running with bad people. Anytime it's got an Asian thing on it or an Asian theme, then it's kind of that's that's a big red flag. Yeah, there, there's not a single Asian Asia they'd say no to, by the way. Yes, I know your Instagram name was Terry Don't Worry, but um, Ming Ming really don't worry about on Instagram about shit, you know? But, um, okay. So did these people, was it the same person sending all that to you or different different people? It was, it was like when you, when you come up on Instagram, you know, it has like friends and stuff. Like sure. Who have posted something and then they have like live videos and stuff and I clicked on the live video. It's that rabbit hole situation. Mm-hmm. Going down that rabbit hole. They, they, they monitor everything like Facebook does now. So, no so that's why it was, a, it was a live video. Okay. Oh, it said it was a live video. I'm not sure if it was. It could have been a loop. Okay. Got it. How long was that loop? A couple minutes. A couple minutes. Okay, and this was the, the girl in the banana? Okay. Um, a couple minutes. You know, some people, it could be 20. To some people, it could be three. Like, how long would you say it was? I, of course, I know you don't... I know you're not going to say three minutes, 57 seconds or anything, but just, like, ballpark number of minutes. Probably, like, five to ten minutes, somewhere in there. Okay, and was the whole time uh, just the banana going into her... Or was it other stuff, too? Like, she kissed the girl on the lips. She had the girl kiss her... Like, sure. So they were both each other. They were both. Yeah. Okay. How old did that girl look to you? She looked like she was like around like fourteen, maybe. Fourteen. I could be wrong because some girls look older than what they are. Right. Right. But you just—it was just very obvious. It was a underage kid. At first, not really until like you started looking at it, you know, like and seeing how the person reacted and stuff. Right, so you can tell she was kind of new or something like that, or? Yeah. Okay. And you said there was another video of a girl walking No, that was the same, it was in the same video. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Asian account, so what, what other stuff have they shown you online? I never even talked to that account. No, no, no. I, I know you haven't talked to them, but what other stuff has kind of been displayed to you pertaining to that type of garbage? None that I think of. None that you can think of. Okay. And you don't remember the account name that that was? No. Okay. Have any like spam accounts tried to DM you some stuff? I had a spam account try to message me one time. Okay. Were they trying to message you like younger stuff? No, the one was trying to get me to send them money to help with some fundraiser and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. I hope you didn't send them money. No. Okay. I would have known on that one. Oh, you control his credit cards too? No, we have we share a bank account. Oh, got it. Got it. And it's the only bank account, unfortunately. <laughs> I see. Yeah, well, I'm glad I didn't fall for any of those uh, scams. God, I can go for some fried pickles right now. I'm starving. You like fried pickles? Nah, eh, kind of. All right. You like fried pickles, Terry? I've had them. All right. Depends on who makes them. Yeah. Is Terry always just, like, kind of unenthusiastic about things, or is he just kind of... She's kind of in a mood right now. He's just more like just in shock because he doesn't know what's going on. Of course. The biggest part of this too with the memory is he really does have severe memory lapses sometimes. Oh yeah, no, so, no doubt, no doubt. Because he slammed his head into a no, one of the big industrial trash cans when yeah. he was younger, and it kind of caused some memory issues. Well, do you I can say something to him one day, and the very next day he won't remember me saying it. Do you think if we were to go talk to that trash can, the trash can would also say some time ago that they also slammed? Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. 
Got it. I don't think he's. I don't think so either. I'm just making, trying to make light of it. I shouldn't be doing that. I just, I, I just think that this is, this has gone to that point where you're, you're on that verge of falling off the cliff. Absolutely, and absolutely. You ain't got a parachute to save you on that one. Well, this is the last chance for a parachute, I'd say. Hmm. Well, that's up it to you. Be a parachute with a few holes popped in it. Yeah. Do you know if any of these accounts were the ones that posted that video? If any of these would ring a bell, I, I wouldn't know. I'm just asking you. No. Okay. Was the, was the Asian account like an obscure name? Yeah, it was some, like it was actually in like their like oh their in calligraphy Chinese or whatever or the fucking shit is, or, <laughs> or Korean or Vietnamese or whatever the language is. Okay. Have you seen any any stuff with like kind of like Russian letters at all either? Could have been Russian letters. I, honestly, I don't like. I don't know all the languages out there like that. I, well, no, no. I, I mean, read them and shit like that. No, no. But I mean, if it was Asian, you know, like you can know it's Asian because you can see the. Asian looks like artwork. Russian looks like geometric shapes, basically. Yeah, like have you seen any other languages besides like any? Eight? Let's just call it Chinese to make it easier. Let's just say that video is Chinese or whatever language it was. Have, have you ever seen any other languages on your Instagram, like besides English and Chinese? Probably. Probably. And this is why I need to get rid of Instagram. Were the languages stuff with like the, I guess the, what's our, the Latin alphabet? Is that what we have? The Latin, Latin letters is what we have? Ours? Yeah, yeah, I think Phoenician. we Phoenician, okay. Slash Greek. Yeah, right, right. So, so was it any others besides like the Greek alphabet that we have, um, you know, A, B, C, D? Because, you know, in Spanish it's in French, it's like they have the same letters we do, just kind of some variations. Yep. Uh, Asian, there could, have been a, there could have been a Russian one, I'm not sure. Okay. But have you seen multiple accounts with those different types of languages? There would be multiple that would pop up. Like when, okay. you, when, when you watch the video, you click on this one button and it pulls up a list of like people that are with it. Okay. And by click on the video, are you talking about that banana video? Yeah. Okay. So that banana video was kind of a gateway to some shit, huh? Okay. Where did, what stuff were shown on that? Holy crap, he's gonna come out next. He's gonna be like a... That's, that's my cousin. Yeah, he was telling me about her. I hope she's doing all right. Yeah. Okay, what was kind of shown on that gateway? And I know you don't like, I, I know looking back on it, you didn't like to watch any of this shit, but um, you gotta be my eyes on the inside, man, because who else, I mean, if you want kids, they're gonna appreciate the fuck out of you, out of you, out of you telling people, like me and your, me and your wife who, also want to save kids, I'd say. I'm sure you do. I mean, that's why you work in juvie. I mean, you want to, she wants to turn kids I've around. I've seen enough kids go down this path with their stupid Instagrams at the schools. And then I've got kids sitting in the JDC buildings right now that have been charged with stuff like this, so. Right, and you know, so when you do have kids in the future, because you are gonna have kids, I mean, you're 34, you know, you got some years left for that, I'm sure. Are, are you 34 as well? 35. 35, you guys, got, you guys got some time for that, so. Um, <laughs> well, you guys got some time for that. I'm feeling a little dry out right now. <laughs> well, shit. All right. Well, TMI. But um, they're going to appreciate you spreading the knowledge of what goes down on those rabbit holes because, Terry, those one day those kids in those videos that you've seen could be your kids. And, dude, you would go ape shit if it was. So the least you can do for those kids that could easily have been your kids in the future is just tell me what they're and tell me what these people are doing to them because you're not the one doing it, but you've seen it. So, I mean, at this point, you just got to flip it around and help, and help out, you know? Like I said, she was using a banana on her. It had the girl kissing on her. She was kissing on the girl. Yeah. That's cool. <clears throat> they were right there. But you also said the other accounts popped up from that video. Uh, like, if, like, when you're watching a video... There was like a an arrow pointing downward. You mm -hmm. click on that, and it like shows you a list of people who are like probably sponsoring it, or other people who are watching it, and shit like that. So what happened on those accounts too? I don't know. I didn't go on them. Account. 
else. Okay. So how many other instances, like maybe even before Instagram or whatever, so I know Twitter is a, a big one for this stuff. Um, at least it used to be before Elon came. It, I don't know. I think it's still just as bad. Yeah, probably, <laughs> probably. At least they claim to care about it, though. <laughs> they claim to. Yeah. That's better than nothing. Yeah, I guess so. Somewhat. <laughs> but um, I know, I know, on, I know on Twitter some of that shit's shown sometimes too. No, the only thing that's on Twitter is nothing but adult accounts. Nothing but adult accounts. All right. So how, how many accounts have you seen on Instagram that maybe display like these younger girls in like bikinis and stuff like that? Or is that just an often thing? Probably maybe 50 accounts or 50. more, there could be more, I'm not sure. Okay. And, and how young do these bikini photos go? Like, if you had to guess. I don't know. Like maybe like 11, 12. 11, 12, okay. Why do you think you'd look at those pics? Okay. Oh, great. Now she's a neighbor. You want to move in front of your house? Let's go over this way. Okay. She's super okay, got it. Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. Is there is there anything, Terry, that maybe that could be on your phone that you should get rid of? Like, just wipe it. There's nothing on my phone. Ever. At this point, just the Facebook account. Okay, but like any pictures that you might just want to get rid of now? No, there there ain't no pictures on my phone. <clears throat> she she can look at them right yeah. now. There's okay. nothing on there. I get a little paranoid sometimes. Okay, you go through his gallery and stuff. Yeah, but okay. it's not for anything for this. It's just from. I had an ex that used to cheat on me frequently. Oh, so sorry about that. that. That trigger that I have to look. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, I have 25,000 screenshots on my phone. So if my girlfriend tried to do that, she'd be taking days to find anything. Yeah. I can't even put 25,000 on my phone. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in the car real quick getting wet or just whatever. Don't want them to get soggy. Are the pickles on the way? Oh, the first one. Oh, well. The most available is coming. Oh, they're on the way right now. She didn't say that, she just said the one that's like, like available. Oh, okay, available. okay, okay. Is the live audio good? I'll, I'll explain it to you when, when we're done. Fucked up again? It's, it's, it's another deal. It's, I've, apparently iPhone doesn't support wireless mics. Oh, that's why it was yeah. so the audio was so trash. All right, we got it. Well, shit. Was this picture of you like at a job or something? It was outside. Okay. You know, you know if this uh, storm's supposed to hit, like, uh, is this supposed to get, like, worse here, or? I didn't think so, but I all guess we're, we're just all getting we're doing this. Is this, this is, like, the tail end of it. Oh, okay. It's already made landfall, and it's heading into Georgia right now, but this is, like, the back end of it. Mm. God, it's nice to just feel wind for the first time in four months. Tell me about it. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I, I can't go back inside. This is, this is amazing. I love this breeze. Yeah. This so good. Yeah, I don't know how you scratch yourself. Demonic entity. Uh, I think it was just like a little acne spot. Oh. So this is one of the accounts uh, he would follow on Instagram. Dude, that's dead ass obvious. It's a fake account. Well, I mean, he wasn't messaging it, or I don't think, but... but still, it's a, that's a dead ass obvious. The, the pictures are different people. That's dead ass obvious. Well, yeah, but I think I think the issue is that they look so young, the pics. Like, 
think that should be your big giveaway. Well, I think following is different than actually messaging it, though. <coughs> I don't know. I still think they're both equally bad. Because if you can look at the picture and like, she looks really young, follow. Right. That's still as bad as going, hey, how you doing? Right, right, right. Still don't look good. How long ago did that banana video happen? No, I don't see banana. Alright. Three months, maybe four months ago? Three months or four months ago. Okay. And what prompted you to make a new Instagram? And really? Want to go under the cover of your house right there? I'm going to go on the patio. <laughs> like, really? The patio is not long. So we made so we really made so much progress together on this and why this is happening and I think it's been really helpful. But I mean if there's just not gonna be a good answer on Lily, I'm I'm really prepared to just walk off and not even try anymore because there there is there is a reason, you know, if you can't put it into words, I'm not asking you to write an essay on it, but there is a reason you wanted to keep talking to her and to bring her to Twitter where you're on more often. I mean if I'm just going to keep, keep hitting, uh, you know, not to not to make a joke about your past, but if I'm just going to keep banging my head into it, um, I don't really see the reason I should be talking to you, bro. Because there is a reason you want to keep talking to Lily. And if not, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You do know. I don't know. I can give you that answer because I don't know. But you do know, man. I know it's hard to talk about. It's embarrassing to say something like, yeah, I just like this blah 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 thirteen year old for whatever reason. I, especially in front of your wife, I know it's embarrassing to say, but I think we're all dying to know why, so we can really turn this around for you. Thank you. 
because she's the only underage person I've ever talked to that far. And you wanted to keep that going? think the chances of it not being again I mean do you think there's honestly even a chance of that I mean come on man you know yourself and it's not even only just you one Lily it's just you're 34 with this driver right? a guy I'm a guy I, I can't talk to a woman online or a girl online without getting I mean that's just a guy thing you know yeah But you just you just stated a fact, not a reason. Because she's the only underage girl I talk to. That's not that's not a reason. Unless unless that's something you seek out and you want to keep continue. I mean, is that what it is? Truly. It's not it doesn't make you a bad person if that's the case, but you just want underage people to talk to. And you just can't find any besides her. I mean, is that what it is? Because that's what it sounds like. And if it is what it is, that's totally okay. It's acceptable, but if, I'm just wondering, is that the case? Like that. Okay, so how many others have talked to you online just about the weather? She's the only underage person I've ever talked to. Okay. But so okay, so if that's the case, why does she want? I mean, why do you still want to keep talking to her? Is it because that's just kind of a preference or a fantasy for you or something, or what? Has anybody ever accused you of doing something like this before? No. No one's accused me of it. Like, my mom, she used to, like, be weird. Like, she would never let my, my sister come around me or shit like that because my mom. Because my mom knows the shit that's happened with the family and shit. So, my mom was always, like, just paranoid. Yeah, she is overly paranoid. Like, yeah, yeah. How old, how much younger is your sister than you? She just turned 18. Oh, oh. Well, not just turned 18. Back in 18. But she didn't think she was going Well, I've never done nothing like that with my fucking sister. My sister would tell you the same shit. Yeah. Did she ever, did your sister, like, grow up with you? Or no? Like, you all live in the same house? Or? So your, your mom's never accused you of doing that with your sister? No. No. And maybe your maybe if your mom were to know, I'm not saying we'd tell her, but if your mom saw this happening, she'd probably be justified in her reasoning, wouldn't she?
I just watched it. But I didn't do nothing. Okay. So you had nothing else to do besides watch out. after that video was done, what, what, what was next? I mean, you went to work, right? You went to work, and... I mean, then you get home and flip on some... I mean, are you, are you not just looking for that other stuff? Again? No? Hey, I, it's just weird to me that you would send all these pics to a 13-year-old make a whole account just for her. Then ever see someone her age just in a video that you wouldn't look for more of that stuff. I mean, that's just something where it's just a total... It's just a total wall of dishonesty that it just makes me it just makes me just kind of think like I mean, why do we have to be against each other on this one I mean tell me how many other times you were hoping to find something like that again or searching for it because it's not zero it doesn't make any sense Terry I wasn't searching for it like yeah I followed the, the pages and shit but was... okay so, so you followed that page and the recommended ones after that no I didn't follow none of the recommended pages okay so you said you follow those pages. What pages do you mean? Like the the ones that you were talking about, like with the body stepdaughter, and yeah, baby suit pictures and shit like that. Okay. Were you hoping you'd see something like that on your feet again with the banana? That excitement, like drawing a good trading card when you play when you play ba have baseball cards or Pokemon cards. I mean, just honestly, were you hoping to come across something like that again? Be a hundred percent honest, Terry. They came over here with my mother. It's not like I was hoping for that to happen. Okay. So how many other times something like that came up then? Was it like another one? 
Yeah, much better. A loud noise. So that might be my hair. But it's long, it's mine. <laughs> That's my hair. That's weird. But then he shut it down because I told him I don't like Instagram, I don't approve of Instagram because too many weird too, too many weird things happen on Instagram that you can't stop. No matter how many times you go to block something, even if you blocked it, if you've already clicked on it once, now it'll spam 10 more things to you. Yeah. So that's why I always was like, get rid of Instagram. You can't have it. Yeah. So I guess my question to you is, Terry, I mean, it seems like a lot of is definitely, uh, could definitely get you just as a static too. I mean, when, when do you start watching porn? Like in general, just not a, not necessarily, just in general, when do you start watching porn? When you were 14. So in uh, 20, like around 2005, 2003. Okay. Okay. Got it. Was that before? I think so. It's been around too long, though. I, to, I, I know I used to steal my dad's. Okay. He had a whole bunch of them. And I used to take them, and we always had magazines sitting around the house. Yeah. That's never. Never. When did you start looking it up online? Well, we've always had a computer when I was growing up, so like when I started looking at it, at fourteen years old. Okay. Go on AOL and just type it in videos, and then a whole bunch of 
bunch of shit pops up. Mm -hmm. I heard on AOL shit was pretty crazy back then too. With so, so that's what I think it is, Terry. I, I think maybe recently the only stuff with younger you, you've seen maybe on Instagram or whatever. But I think I, I think I think we're finally getting to the treasure here, which is of course the truth and the catalyst. Um, I've heard many people say that AOL, there's just a bunch of spammers on there. There's just, in the old days of AOL, just spam, 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 spam. Yeah, chat rooms, all this going around. Have you seen any of that crap on AOL, potentially, when you were younger, younger? Have so you seen it on Instagram? I know on AOL. I had, I had friends that I talked to on AOL when we were younger, like we'd exchange pictures and stuff like that. Okay. That's teenagers exchanging pictures with teenagers. Of course. This is when you were like 14, 15? Okay. Terry, did it ever get to a point on AOL um, where you're not 14, 15, where you're maybe like 19, 20, and those people on AOL are still 14, 15? No. When did you get off AOL? I feel like he's being aged here. Yeah. Honestly, I don't even, like, I don't even really know. Okay. I think you need to get rid of AOL. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, probably when MySpace came around is when AOL disappeared. So whatever MySpace came about, most likely. Because that's when I know a lot of my friends jumped over, is the mm -hmm. MySpace when it showed up. I did have a few friends that told me to get a MySpace, and then years later when Facebook came out, friends were telling me to get a Facebook. Well, I, I guess a better question on AOL is, and this is just me being curious about it, were there any adults on AOL that would try to get pics from you? Okay. Was there anything on AOL you saw? Um, where maybe it's just someone that's chatting with you just sends you something really young, like younger than your age at the time? There was only like three girls that I ever shared pictures with on AOL, and I knew exactly what their ages was. Okay. None of them were younger than me, they were all my age. Okay, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. I don't even talk to none of them anymore. Yeah. Were they, did you know them in person or just online friends? Uh, two of them I knew in person and one lives in another state. Okay. Somewhere up north. Got it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out, man. I mean, there, there was a point on the internet where you could just kind of look up anything unrestricted. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't on AOL, but if there's, if, if that's the thing. If your Instagram's like this with restrictions, but if you're still just finding ways to accidentally or not see this stuff on Instagram, I mean, maybe in like the early 2010s, 2009, I mean. It wasn't none of that time. I was in prison around that time. Around that time. How long did you go for? Five years. Okay. Got it. So, so I guess the question is, when did you first start to notice that this was a thing for you? Like the curiosity about, say, 13-year-olds or whatever? Most of it started back when I started going to counseling and talked about it with my counselor. Okay. But I don't even talk to them no more because my counselor tried to spin a whole bunch of lies and was always trying to force us to do, a, do a counseling a certain way. And that's not the way that I was trying to do counseling. But she can even tell you she has the same counselor. Yeah, I have the same counselor. She kept trying to push on that EM or ER or EM, whatever the hell it's called. She kept trying to push it and pedal it way too fast for people. And Got people it. People just aren't comfortable with that right away. Do you think then that talking about it in counseling made you curious about it then? Okay. How long ago was counseling? Well over a year ago. Yeah, actually it will be well over a year ago at this point because the last time we went there would have probably been May of last year. But then I started to get kind of irritated and fed up with her because I just felt like she was just being too pushy and trying to 
Like, you know how some people just keep push, 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 push to make you relive things way too fast that you're, like, you're comfortable with? Right. And she kept doing that, and she kept doing it to me, and it was making me uncomfortable. So I stopped going, and he stopped going, like, shortly after me. Because we're like, no, that, that's... You, should, you don't do that to people, especially when we told you multiple times to stop pushing so hard. We'll, we'll divulge information when we're ready to talk about stuff. Got it. It was one of the times that she tried to force that shit on me, and it brought back shit that happened when I was really young and I watched my oldest sister die in a trailer fire. Oh my gosh. And that shit still Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oops. Oh. oh, they're talking to you, bro. Yeah, I said you can park in front of the yard. When's the last time you went through his phone gallery? Actually, it was yesterday. And the only, there, there was a picture of a little snakey snake he caught at work in it. Oh. He had asked me about, is this a water moccasin or is this a water snake? And I was like, it's a water snake, not a water moccasin. Got it. Well, can, can I see your phone gallery and um, see if there's anything we need to delete? And then, uh, is that uh, his yeah, phone? Yeah, I got his phone because I keep it on me. Well, at the house anyway. Sorry, I can't see with my glasses on. <sighs> I moved it, my bad. Yeah. Okay. You have all there. And then, here, let me try to brighten the screen a little bit more. See? It's all there, some photos of our Yeah. Which is exciting. And then, some photos. Me. I swear, it's me. Yes. Don't yeah. Ask. Long story on that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I was very bored. Well, is there a okay? Well, is there anything like uh, I should see what apps he has if you don't mind? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, such a sweet marriage photo together. Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah. Just keep his ass in check. Oh yeah, at this point, he don't have a choice unless he wants to be divorced real soon. And I mean, if that's what you want, then mine. Then, guess what? Your ass is mine now. But if you think I'm playing, you got another thing coming, because I'll be the first motherfucker to call the cops. Yeah, it's true. So you can play with me if you want to on this. No. But I'll be the first motherfucker to call. And if I, I'll be goddamn, if I catch you on Instagram or Twitter, I'm going to kill you my goddamn self. Before someone else's father does. That's true, Terry. Just gotta gotta deal with her now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for keeping him in check. Terry, don't do this again, okay? Uh, yeah. So that's the thing. Yeah, we've been we've been waiting for an hour. I was just saying it, it could be more convenient if we just went to the station instead. Oh, there's nobody at the station. Okay. Talk to him. Talk, talk softer. Okay, we can uh, just continue here waiting then. Okay, thank you. God, dude, he's such a loser. Yeah, she let me go through the phone. There ain't shit on there. Oh my God, dude. Let's just, uh, dude, what is he even doing right now? Well, probably the hurricane shit. I don't know, but there's nothing going on here. Yeah, but there's like no flooding or anything I mean, here. It, like, it took her like 40 seconds to respond to the <laughs> oh, call, so shit. it might be busy. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, that's true. We, we do got to get to this other fucking catch, though, who does have CP for sure. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Pablo. Uh, he's the one that called. Okay. Uh, hello, ma'am. I got some, uh, I don't know the special for the but we're part of an organization where we close online as underage children, and there's an individual who lives there that, uh, we were just talking to him, that, uh, who has been messaging who we thought was a real 13-year-old girl. Okay. Uh, he was soliciting new he was send soliciting and sent multiple pictures, and under his own free will, he did admit to us on camera that, uh, him sending all these messages and okay. we'll, we'll just like to hand you all the evidence over okay did you get his information as far as his name or? yes uh, we have that all on camera and we also have printouts oh, the, the guy in the green he's the he's like the head guy he has all the all his info uh, is, this, is it this guy in a blue shirt yes ma yes, yes ma what's the information that you guys have uh, uh the guy just in the green he has it on his oh phone. he has it on yeah. okay and he's like the head head honcho so you guys spoke to him already yeah he, he did he's the one that did it Should we go? take a look at all okay. of these and they're they're obviously out of order and we don't have that whole, th whole is thing this, but, this uh, whole case for this one no we can send it all to you digitally though okay yeah sure I'm just trying to put them together absolutely we were posing as said a kid but we've been around florida doing this and we go we, we're from houston we go around the country and um just yesterday we were in citrus county and they arrested um someone we caught based on dissemination of harmful material to a minor uh -huh. and that's uh, as long as they believe they're talking to an underage kid which he did in this case and since he said he did or did not? he didn't he did oh, he and did. Since, since harmful material um like you spit on your body cam uh, it should be a charge well i'll make that determination so. okay absolutely Boom. You can just scroll through whatever you yeah, want. Yeah. So this was done through Instagram? Correct. Um, okay. One of his Instagram accounts got uh, removed because uh, he said his wife caught him with it. Okay. But um, the other one, he I think he used the same name for both Instagram, so uh, it'll have to be a preservation request on one of them. But he was talking to our same Instagram the whole time, okay. so um, we have all that for y'all. And we also have them so on. So this was uh, okay. since May? Um, so this started in August of last year. The, those are kind of jumbled, okay. but um, we will be able to send the full thing to you guys. Okay. And um, he also said to us in like an hour and a half voluntary interview that he did all this and that he's viewed and all that type of stuff. Okay.
And he also, like, asked to meet up for something. He never went to go meet, though, but he floated it. Is that the Miami thing? Um, yeah, where he's like, I got to had to go pick okay. up my cousin. Can you show me in here where, where you figure, yeah, that's what I That's another email here, and this was one of the first messages, as you see right here, it says August 2022, um, August, so this was a, basically a year ago, he says, hi, we say, hey, how are you doing? We say, I'm 13, by the way, mm -hmm. and that's the first thing we say, and also on our profile, um, profile we also have 13 years old right here okay and like he's all like when i said lily 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 and he recognized lily is 13 years old okay what was his response okay. after you said you're 13. oh gosh that'd be i gonna have to go find that no um, you just said it when he says i'm 13. oh um yeah. well all, all of these messages that that you saw were after we said we were 13. Okay. like like the stuff you no, saw i just on, wanted to see what the, oh, did he um respond to that in any way like he was like, did I, I know, or, I mean, I could see that the conversation was still going up to told. Yeah. Um, we'd have to find that, okay. but he's, but here on his following, like, he follows teen model, teen beach girls, okay. young sky diamonds, and he says his curiosity is for 13 year olds. Okay. All right. Just give me a second. I'll speak to him. For sure. for now uh, yeah, yeah. she definitely do her due diligence which is good Oh, okay, sorry. It doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> This whole time. Bro, one of my mics was, he didn't know you were filming though. Wait, but he saw the mic? No, one of my mics was about to fall, so I was like, it looked like a coming out of my stomach, so I was like, <laughs> I looked like Austin Harden for a second from Kentucky, I was like, oh, oh. He crashed down behind his wife. I know. I just want to come in and just kick that lawn chair out of the